Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel and gents. Thank you so much for stopping by. First of all, before I go any further, I want to say I am praying for you. This is a trying time that we're going through. And I just want to say that I hope that you and your families are doing very well and staying safe. So first I wanted to get that out of the way. It's very, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's just like so much right now. I understand that. So I just finally said, you know, let me get out my little, I guess, I'm not going to say depression because it wasn't depression, but I just felt so bad for everybody that's been affected in a very, you know, deep way. Um, so guys, just stay safe. And with that being said, thank you so much again for stopping by. I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Mwah. Um, first of all, again, before I go any further, go ahead and subscribe down below if you love fragrances. And once you subscribe, go ahead and click on the little bell icon right beside the subscribe button so that when I upload a video, you will be alerted and I'll be excited because when you click on it, I would know it. Because that one like, one review will pop up. Okay. So anyway, um, I have the still it's like jokes, right? So anyway, I'm holding this bottle because it's so pretty. This is going to be my first review and this is called judith liber i believe that's her how you say her last name is liber or liber but this is judith liber and i ordered this one online i think for macy's.com it came in this pretty box right here and a lotion came with it in a 3.3 ounce and this is a 1.3 ounce this fragrance was I mean, I really got a bang for my buck with this fragrance because it smells amazing. This fragrance represents who I am. This is very sexy, very soft, sensual, intoxicating. It is just glamorous. And the bottle is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I had it sitting over here where my black bottles are. And it looks so pretty on my little table. I'm so glad that I bought this blindly. And it was a very pleasant blind blind by. So let me get to the notes, okay? So the notes in this fragrance is bergamot, black cinnamon, night bloom and jasmine, peony, lily, lily. The background represents a blend of oriental car caramelized amber, intensive patchouli, and creamy woods and incense. And I do get. The cinnamon, when I, I spray this, I actually get the cinnamon. I actually get blackberries, berries. I get raspberry. I get strawberry. Definitely get some beautiful incense. I definitely... I do get a, just a little bit of the wood note in it. It is just so sexy. It's sexy. It's sexy. Very nice for a date night or just hanging out on the town. Um, just... They, you know, just really nice for nightlife opportunities. So this, again, is Judith Liber. And this is what the bottle looked like. Gorgeous. Okay. So my next fragrance. And also, ladies, I want to let you know that this do put you in the mind um, a very more mature Lolita Limpica and um, Attic by Dior. Kind of. Okay. Kind of, sort of. So I just want to get you, like... A fragrance that it can be like a little bit close to but definitely don't smell like you know exactly like it so yeah that's what i get yes definitely can be a sister of um attic by dior so my next fragrance is going to be um frank it's by frank oliver and it's called oud vanille and this is the pretty bottle that it came in oud vanille so beautiful i love this purple bottle it's so pretty and this is blew my mind okay okay it's really nice let me give you the notes so the notes are in this fragrance here is um rose violet jasmine patchouli incense the base notes are woody my, my spices musk and vanilla and also have some notes of incense 
this is so mouth watering and yes it does open up with quite a nice rose a woody rose and definitely you get the vanilla in it it's you know it gives you that um arabian you know middle east vibe because it's very like smoky but it's so beautiful my husband actually put this on tonight after he got the shower and he smelled amazing and he left a trail everywhere he walked in the house and i was like what do you think about it and he loves it he does say it's he does think that it smells you know more like incense um it's just beautiful okay so if you have not tried this fragrance it definitely can be it could have been priced a lot more okay i got this off of perfume.com and uh, it was very reasonable reasonable price and it does have a niche vibe to it again this is oud vanille this projects at least like five hours i actually sprayed it on my skin when i first received it in the mail and I let my husband, my husband, sp I can't talk tonight, okay? I just, it's late. But anyway, I let my husband spray it, you know, smell it on me, I'm sorry. And he said it smelled kind of masculine. So I put it on his side of the bathroom because I like smelling very feminine, okay? I'm not really into smelling masculine. So, but actually, if we go out somewhere, I will spray it on so that we can smell the same. And I did dig it a lot it's just that when he told me that it just messed with my mind so it's so beautiful though again this is oud vanille and it was launched in 2015 and um this one definitely can um put you in a vibe of tom ford um oud vanilla i think it is they have so anyway, it's very, very good. Very good. Oh, it's strong when you first spray it. So just know that it will die down to something very pretty. It's going to be sharp when you spray it. So, but it's going to, you know, appear that it's going to be very sharp, but it's going to die down. It's going to become a little gentle. So don't worry about that. Okay. And my next fragrance is, okay, it's going to be Burberry Touch. I'm going to wipe it off because I have my fingers, hands all over it. So anyway, I purchased this one. It's called Burberry Touch. This is not a um, definitely um, not new to the fragrance, um, anybody fragrance collection because this has been out for quite some time. But this is my first time actually owning it, and I had smelled this several times on my friends in the past, um, and I just thought it smells so amazing. I always wanted it, but I never really seen it in a lot of stores. So I actually seen this at Burlington, and I picked it up. A huge bottle for I think it was $39 and here's the box that it came in and this is so heavenly it smells so fabulous to me it's just so fresh and summery it gives you that clean vibe you know um, I would definitely say it would project better or wear better um, in the summertime you know I mean, you can wear it anytime. I definitely think you can wear it anytime, but I would just say because it's just so lemony, it smells so citrusy, um, peachy. It has like some orange vibes in it. It's really, really, really nice. Okay, again, this is Burberry Touch, and the notes in this fragrance is rose, lily of the valley, um, jasmine mixed with notes of peaches. There be your peaches, raspberries and orange berries vanilla cedar wood oak moss and i just get tuberose once it dies down i get a lot of tuberose and i just think it's so beautiful and um i just think you know this is gonna be one of my favorite out of the shower fragrances that i will put on um it's very reasonable and like i said um a lot of people probably have already had this or heard of it of course because it's not new it's been around for let me see i think it was launched in i'm gonna say the early 2000s maybe 2000 okay so my next fragrance that i purchased is liquid sun look at this bottle it is so nostalgic it is so beautiful this bottle is just it just reminds me of something that would have been on my grandmother's dress <laughs> But I just think it's so pretty and the, the liquid, I don't know what color liquid is, but it looks yellow inside 
And this is by Dadia. Um, her name is Dadia Sodi. A Sodi. Dadia Sodi. And she's a celebrity. It's just a celebrity scent. And it's just sun in a bottle, just like it says. I mean, you can't get any better than that. It's just beautiful. And the notes in this fragrance is... The notes in this fragrance are... Um, Neroli, Mandarin Leaf, Coconut, Nectar. And the middle notes are Frangipani, Peony, Solar Note, and Orange Blossom. I do not know what a solar note is. And it says the base notes are Amber, Ebony Wood, Sandalwood, and Musk. This fragrance definitely um, is pretty... Uh, the, the opening is pretty strong. The Neroli is pretty strong in this fragrance, okay? It's definitely like very fresh, very summery. Um, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And I think this one was $19.99. So, ladies and gentlemen, you do not have to pay a lot of money to smell good, honey. Okay, so this is beautiful. This also reminds me of Sun Song by Louis Vuitton. I did sample that some years ago, and I find it to be like a sister of Sun Song by Louis Vuitton. I, Vuitton, I think that's what it is. And um, that fragrance by Louis Vuitton was also unisex. I'm not. This is not unisex, but hey, to each his own. Again, this is the bottle, and I just love this fragrance. So I haven't just worn it like out at about. I think I wanted to wear it definitely like in the summertime. Okay, so. If you see this at Burlington, go ahead and pick it up for the price. You can't beat it. So my next fragrance that I picked up was a celebrity fragrance. And it is by Jennifer Lopez. And it's called Steel. This is very nostalgic for me as well. Bring back very, very good memories. Me and my sister used to wear this fragrance a while some years ago, and it's just like, we just couldn't get enough of it. We thought we was just like, all oh, that. <laughs> and I just think this is still so beautiful. I just feel like this is just always will be just a nice fragrance to have in your collection. And I'm so glad that I seen it at Burlington and I picked it up for like $9.99. I kid you not. So, I mean, if this is so beautiful. I did not put the notes write the notes down because oh, I have a magnolia tree in my front yard and that's just what I get. I just get a beautiful magnolia bloom. It's floral. It's sweet. It's sexy. It's nice. It's summery to me. And I just think it could be a signature scent for sure. Definitely work appropriate. Um, it's just nice. And it's by Jennifer Lopez, of course. Hey, Jen. So yes, this is called Steel by Jennifer Lopez. So, almost done. My next fragrance is ALT Art, and it's called Crystal Number no. Twenty Three. This is the dupe of Baccarat Rouge Five Forty. Again, this is ALT, and it is number no. Twenty Three. Okay, so of course everybody loves Baccarat Rouge, including me. But if you're like me and you're not able to afford it right now, or you just don't want to spend the money on it right now because you have other fragrances that you would like, um, this will be the this will be a good option for you. Because they did a very, very amazing job, amazing job duping um Baccarat 540. And it smells amazing. It smells amazing. <laughs> I just can't believe that. I just can't believe how they can get a fragrance to smell so close. And this one is like a fraction of the price. This one is pretty much, I think it was like $39. And Baccarat Rouge is clearly $300, okay? By the time you pay taxes, it's going to come out to about $300, okay? So if you cannot afford Baccarat Rouge, try ALT Crystal number 23. And also, I always love Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And again, I just can't afford it. So I looked for a dupe and um, I came across ALT. And this one's called Smash Cherry Smash. And this is number 12. 
and it's called Cherry Smash. And this is the dupe of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And it's just almond cherry delicious. It's so amazing. I just can't, again, I cannot believe how the dupe is so, so close that you can barely, I have a little tester, not a tester, but I have a little sample and I sprayed it. this one on one hand and the real Tom Ford Lost Cherry on another hand and I could not tell them apart. The only thing I could say is that this one actually lasts longer on my skin than Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So, and so one more fragrance I have is I picked this one up and this was just because it was $9.99, honey. I picked this one up and it is called, it is, it came in this box. It's cute little box. Okay. And it is called Double Dare by Guess. And it is really nice and soft. Just a around the house fragrance, nothing to brag about. It was just $9.99. I wanted to see, I never tried it before and I thought it was a male fragrance. So I gave it to my husband cause I you know, like to pick him up fragrances, colognes, you know, when I'm picking up me something and he smelled it and he thought it smelled very good, but it's not for me. <laughs> so that was really funny to me, but if he like it, he can wear it. That's why so many fragrances are unisex. You know, it's just like, okay, these days you just wear what you want to wear. And again, I really like the bottle. It's cute, it's real cheap, and I probably would give it away. No, I can't give it away because he likes it and it smells good on him. So I'm going to keep it on his side. <laughs> so thank you so much, ladies, for just taking time out to come and... Have fun with me. So if you, like I said, haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below very quick. It only just takes a split second to click on the button and to make me happy. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're a returning viewer, mwah, thank you so much. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm just a little tired. And I know I'm probably like just all over the place. But anyway, thank you so much and stay safe. Guys, be blessed. Let's pray for each other. And just, you know, just be patient. This will be all over soon. All this COVID-19 COVID is making us all feel a little weary, but we'll get through this. So until the next time, thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful, be blessed, and always be inspiring. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you.